Before the pandemic we were open to the community, we had lots of different groups coming in to use the space. We had the cafe open to the public as well. Um, it was quite a bustling, warm, friendly, kind of happy environment. Um, before the painting, um, since Covid came along, it restricted us from the amount of furniture and visual, visual things we have to look at around in the cafe, especially for our service users who do have complex and profound needs. Everywhere in the centre is just magnolia, so it was all a bit bland, so to have something like that is, is, you know, makes a big difference. As, as Tommy described it, quite clinical looking, cold, bare. <laughs> yeah. We had a session with Tommy and staff were really keen to get involved and have um, the mural to sort of, com not commemorate, but to mark the fact that we're moving on from the last couple of years, that we're all coming back together as a team. I came to visit about a month ago to, to do some talks on what matters to you and, and uh, hear stories from the incredible staff who work here and, and people who attend the day centre. And it just started a conversation about a lovely oak tree that used to sit outside. It wasn't just for the centre, but the whole community loved it. Um, and it, it was massive, absolutely massive. But unfortunately it got diseased, and then eventually it, it did have to come down, uh, which is quite sad for the community altogether. And the tree actually brought quite a lot to the, to the building, so to have a tree painted inside the centre means that we can use it all year round. <laughs> We are working with a, a, an artist, a, an artist in residence, Zhu Zhang Ling. Can he volunteer to come and recreate a modern version, a kind of a, 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 a colourised version of the tree, and a wee space for staff to share their stories and pin their stories on? Uh, so the main, uh, the main object in this painting is the oak tree. And the oak tree uh, here represents the uh, staff who are working, uh, working here. So it's a big tree, and the staff is a. Uh, uh, staff are taking care, uh, care of people here. Yeah, so it's, it's really nice that um, somebody has come in and had the inspiration to, to do something like that and hopefully it'll be a talking point for everybody. Uh, what, what we're doing is something that everybody can get involved with and it's, it, it means something, which is, which is nice. I think the tree will mean a lot because we do, we do a lot of nature and garden things and it will help us to identify the different seasons and the changing seasons, but it also gives us something to talk about, um, about our service users and how, the, how we can help them communicate their feelings and their emotions. And one of the problems we have uh, in the busyness of day-to-day -day life is that we don't have time and space to really listen to people understand the things that are important to them. Uh, so I think, uh, I hope, I hope this, uh, through this painting uh, people could uh, uh, know the contributions of the staff and so, uh, so it will encourage people to love each other. So the, 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 the meal. Also there'll be some texture, there'll be little sunlight shapes where, where uh, uh, staff, families, individuals can write little messages of the things that are really important to them and hang it onto the tree and that'll bring more texture. Uh, so we hope that encourages uh, learning a wee bit about each other, a conversation as you're passing by. Uh, yeah, it just helps another form of, of storytelling and really finding out what matters to the people who attend the centre and the people who work at the centre. And when we think about helping people to stay well and to live life well on their own terms, then making a space and giving them time to listen, to understand, and then to work with them to help them achieve their personal goals, their personal outcomes, that's absolutely key to high quality health and care and good well-being, good outcomes. It's also important that we understand as staff that we're also learning uh, from our service users and it's not about us teaching them, they're also teaching us and we, we all work together. And at the moment we're still limiting use to people that we are supporting so it's a lot quieter. Um, so hopefully once we've got the mural up and risk assessments allow we can welcome the public back in.
um, and I just make it make it what it was before, but hopefully even better.